Hello everyone, welcome to Real Programmer. Today we are going to look how to set up MangoDB in Laravel with its glued operation. If you are new to MangoDB, I'll explain a little bit before we begin. MangoDB is document oriented database uses JSON like structure. We are going to use online database for this tutorial which is Atlas. Go to the official website of MongoDB. Here you will get free online database of Py12MV. Click on try free and make your account. I have already made mine and this is the dashboard. Here we need three things. One is network access. I have given all, every IP address can access this database. Then there is this database access which we need to create the role of the database. Lastly, head to the database and click on connect. Select connect your application. Select PHP and the version. Copy this URL and save it in your document. Next, we need to install MongoDB extension for PHP. Open your terminal and write this command sudo pecl install mongodb. It will ask for password and it will take some time to install. I have already installed mine, so I need to add this extension in my php init let's check what version of php i am using which is 8.1 now i'll add the extension in php init i'll open this in subline this is the path for in my device etc php 8.1 apache 2 php init here I have already added my extension which is extension mongodb.so Next we need to create a Laravel pro project To do that open your terminal go to your write directory Here make here you can write this command composer create project laravel slash laravel then the folder name which is laravel tutorial it will take some time to create the project once that done you can go inside the folder I'll open this project in my Visual Studio code. You can use any yeah, IDE you want. Next, we need to add MongoDB module using Composer in our Laravel project. To do that, open your terminal and write this command Composer require gen Serger, gen sergers slash mongodb is it correct yeah once you add this we we have the mongodb commands used with this package next we need to add the connection to our mongodb in our laravel so let's head to the config then database in here last we need to add the mongodb and i have said you to i have said you to copy the url of your atlas mongodb paste it in here and make sure you have the right username and password once you while you creating the user role for database access you will get the password there you have to paste it in here then copy this mongodb here in default you have this db connection replace with mysql to mongodb and save the file now we need to add mongodb service provider to our laravel project go to config app.php head to the providers inside here 
I'll add this class of provider which has the function to modify the MongoDB using this this function is now available throughout the Larval project save the file next we need to create model and controller for our MongoDB table so open your terminal and paste this command it will create a model of post and its controller now once I head to once I head app model I'll see this post dot php here I'm going to remove this and replace with this code here we are defining connection as a mongodb and collection as blog post this is the table name or the collection we call and I'm not going to use this model instead I'm going to use the mongodb model which is mongodb model and I'm go going to comment this out and save it now I'm going to define the API controllers in here which is root api.php in here I'll add this controller this controller is not been created yet I'll create and come back now I'm going to show how these functions are used I have this API manager which is insomnia I have already created the functions in here using this I'll show how it's been used right now head to the atlas and click on browse collection as you can see there is nothing in here once I click here oh I need to start this start the server which is php artisan serve now if I click here it will take some time and result ok now if I refresh this at last I should able to see the D collection name db and it and the first post if I change this second second and insert again and refresh the atlas here you will be able to see there are two po two data inside here this this is the id which is object this is the this is randomly created and it will be unique and there will be two extra fields here updated and created if you do any update updation it will change the time creation once the when the new data is entered this will take the time timestamp now let's see how we can see with one how to get one data from the database using this i have given i need to give id let's let's show second one if i run this i can see the second post using the id i can also update the post using this we'll make the second to third i'll give the same thing it gives ok if I refresh the second post will change into third and the update date will be changed as you can see this is created and this is updated two minutes ago next we can delete the post ignore it 
I'll try to delete the first post run this command and it gives ok if I refresh the first post will be removed this is the crude operation in here I have this third post the first post is removed I can also show show all let me add one more post in here with a second now if I click in here not found why is it not found we can debug it okay the URL is wrong now it should work let me save it as you can see I can get all the post in here this is how you can create the crude operation you can do crude operation in mongodb with laravel if you want to host your website you have to check domain reserve it provides so many features with cheapest price you can get your domain with the starting price of 70 rupees dot info 400 dot com for 650 and dot for 990 and if you are looking for web hosting there are four major features in here fast fast response because of ssd free ssl certificate cpanel to manage your site seo tool to optimize your search engine and everything is stored in cloud and it's secure there are few plans you can look the starting plan which is basic starts at 60 rupees per month you will get one free one host website host 1 gb of ssd 3 email address and 5 gb of bandwidth if you are looking for personal which is average you can get 400 rupees per month you will get unlimited ssd unlimited email address unlimited bandwidth and it also have premium seo tool and if you are have if you have a business and you want to have a website you can look for this plan which gives three website unlimited bandwidth unlimited ssd unlimited email address same premium seo tool to optimize your search then there is this advanced plan which is 250 rupees which gives free domain of two which is dot in and dot com unlimited website you can host your website n number of website all pack all features from silver pack which business level all the features from business level will, will be included in here which is SSD, unlimited ssd unlimited email address unlimited bandwidth and premium seo tool please do check it out and they have 24 7 24 by 7 service support that's all and i'll see you in the next video